Well, good, good evening, folks, and welcome to Salamanca for just joining us. It's uh, UMNC at Katzenberg taking on Perfume Marias Avenida here in Salamanca, Spain, and at Katzenberg winning the opening tip and attacking the basket to the left on your screen. And down low it goes to Jonquil Jones, and she is denied by Hoff, follows up the miss, and then Hoff comes down with the basketball. Samuelson gets it over to her sister and glasses off the rim. And quickly gets it down low. She misses Hoff. Saves it before it goes out of bounds. Now gets it to Dominguez. Crosses midcourt and brings it back out. And puts it up, and it's good. Well, she is a dead eyed shooter and nails it uh, for Avenida in the first points of the game. And Messaman misses. Now quickly, Dominguez to the other end. The first basket was Katie Lou, and driving in is low for the first points of the game. Cooper, rather. Copper. Kalea Copper gets her first two. Now, John Quill Jones launches and shows her versatility with that three point shot. So, Catcherberg get on the board. Dominguez drives in and is denied. Now Jones spinning, getting away, and driving in and dishing it back to Jones. Uh, that was a good decision. Uh, Courtney Vandersloot. Now Samuelson from the left corner off target. Copper doesn't get it, but it does go, in fact, uh, to her sister Katie. Now Dominguez. Basketball inbounded to Copper. She puts it up, and it's good. Well, that's what she does, folks. She can drill it from anywhere. She is a player, big time. Now chasing it into the backcourt and bringing it up was Quigley. Now gets it over to Vandersloot. Back to Quigley. Copper making life difficult, and in the end, the shot goes off the side of the backboard. Three point shot, count it, Katie Lou. That's how you do it. And Katie Lou Samuelson, also one of those players that can get it done inside or out. And, well, Jones, if she catches the ball there, it's over. She's going to score. Now, Dominguez. 
Probes looks around. Copper. Baseline. She uses, contorts her body nicely. And Avenida having no problem taking that scoreboard over here early on. Now the three-point shot. And again, it's long for Katrenberg. Now Copper. This time she's off. And quickly up the floor. And just as she was dribbling through that defense, Courtney Vandersloot was fouled. Well, just some outstanding guard play. Outstanding guards in this game. So Shalova, number 10, is going to inbound the basketball. She's going to try to. And Mendez looks over. That is uh, Ben. She's only brought eight players. There's Messiman and putting it up and in. Oh, the Belgium International. Oh, Copper, it's a nightmare guarding her. And uh, she ends up fumbling it away, but doesn't turn it over. Uh, Samuelson again. Good. Yeah, 33 for three. And... If she can hit that shot all night long, that is going to really help Avenida. Messiman goes to work, makes it look easy. And really with Messiman and Jones, if they do catch it that close to the basket, there's no chance, you would think, for the opposition. They're just too good at finishing. Samuelson. Just off, and Jones uh, gets it and loses it. Fasulis keeps it alive. Now tries to hustle back and play defense. Vandersloot gets it over to Shalova. Back to Messiman. Vandersloot. Oh, boy. Silky smooth. Getting in the paint and laying it up and in. She gets the baseline and she passes. They sealed her in the end. Here's Samuelson drifting in. And Katie Lou has now missed a couple in a row. And Captain Burke and Tider take the lead with a three. Messiman catches it down. Oh, she missed the reverse. She gets it back outside to Jones. And count it her second three pointer of the game. John Quill, I can do anything, Jones. Goes back to play defense. Cathorla has been a little quiet offensively in terms of looking for her own shot. And could be a candidate uh, to get going. All knocked out of bounds by Shilova. Another, another of those, uh, one of the Russian internationals like uh, Maria Vedeva. And here's Bentley. And you know what she's all about. She is electric. She comes into the game. And she's also got that extra bounce in her step. Could spell trouble for the home team. Evans, meanwhile, checks into the game. Conte Evans. Her first minutes. Cathorla over to Copper. Copper gets it to Fasula. And uh, Fasula took steps. And Yike is calling the play. Really is an outstanding coach. His preparation, his in game adjustments. But so is Mendez. Now driving down low and scoring. And Vandersloot getting the layups.
Well, I, I guess you also have, you have to feel for any team that goes up against a Katrenberg because you're so worried about the likes of Jones, of Messaman, and, and then you, you simply cannot lose sight of the other players on the court, like Vandersloot, like Quigley, like Shalova. So Victoria Zavialova checks into the game number one, and she'll get uh, some big minutes here at the point guarding Cthorla. Nice matchup to watch. Dribbling right, Cthorla passes it back outside to Evans. That's a two if it drops, but it doesn't. And there's Jones going for one of her many rebounds, and she gets it. Messamon hands it off to Zavialova. Back to Jones. And she drives in and is fouled by Fasula. The crowd doesn't like it. Oh, probably minimal contact. But Jonquil Jones gets to the free throw line. She makes one of two, and Captain Bird right now with the wind in their sails. Pass down low, and Copper surrounded immediately. They have to pass it. Evans, plenty of time on the shot clock. Well, she's not going to wait around, and she's going to come up short. Kaptenberg just making it look so effortless right now. Just too easy on both ends of the floor. Jones will turn around. And again, they have called a foul on Fasula. And chance of Fuera from the stands. Well, it's, it's pretty... Uh, We'll just say that's a tough call on Fasula. If you can't play Jockwell Jones like that, you got no chance. Here she is at the line. Makes the first. And the second as well. drive and nice decision there uh, from Rodriguez. Bentley tries to get the bounce pass to Jones. Ball goes out of bounds. Those two, those two players are going to be going up against each other at the uh, FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup qualifiers, or at least they should be. The squads have not been announced for Bosnia and Herzegovina nor for Belarus. Uh, they will be playing each other February 10th in Osaka, Japan. It's exciting stuff talking about that. Now, Copper. Uh, her 10th, no good. And Avenida in a little bit of a dry spell right now. Kattenberg, meanwhile, with Quigley. Pulls up and nails it. And quickly, quickly gets back on defense. I think the word that comes to mind is relentless from this Ekaterinburg team, even if they show up with a limited roster. And now a foul called on Evans, I believe. And Enriquez is really frustrated. He feels like he hasn't gotten the benefit of a few calls here. And from my limited Spanish, what I can read 
Although he might be speaking in English. <laughs> what game are you watching? Now, Bentley. Gets it to Messamon. Copper. Rebounds and decides not to run. Now she's got it. About 11 second differential on the game clock and the shot clock. Every possession important for Avenida as they try to keep pace with Captain Bird. Copper. And the ball batted out of bounds by Shilova. Inbounds pass to Evans. Shot clock winding down, and she tried to score with reverse, but uh, the defense knew it. Kattenberg, they're going to get a good shot here. Quigley pulls up and doesn't drop, but nobody boxes out. And Kattenberg just rubs salt in the wound with the putback right there by Maria Popova, another of the Belarus internationals. And well, they are comfortably ahead, heading over to the bench at the end of one. It's a Kattenberg leading at 27 to seven because uh, they make it look so easy, but they're such high level players that they do make it look easy. Uh, that said, Avenida really did give them a run for their money in the first game. And uh, I, would, I would think their intensity is gonna go up a notch uh, defensively. At least that's what Enrique will be telling them. Oh boy, traveling is the call. And you saw Enriquez, he just almost said, I've seen enough. <laughs> and you do feel for the coach. Well, sometimes you have games that go like that. It seems like everything is against you. And you just have to keep fighting. Here's Messamon catching it down low, turning and scoring. What's your guess? To Cthorla. And she gets it over to Rodriguez for three. Short. And Messamon. Gets it over to Bentley. Zabulova. Quigley. Looks for space. Oh boy, beautiful play. She just kind of got into space, and before you knew it, she was attacking the basket, just kind of drifting in and putting up that sweet layup. And the referees are really getting barracked by the crowd right now. Well, you name it, and she's doing it for Kattenberg. It doesn't matter if it's Bentley, Jones, Messaman, Shilova, Vandersloot, Popova, 
Quigley, Zavialova. They're all playing. They're all contributing. And uh, they're trying to make uh, quick work of this journey to Salamanca, Spain, which is uh, ordinarily a very difficult place to play. Remember, if, if somehow Avenida can rally come back and win the game and end up winning by nine, they would have a chance to finish first place. Although I think most people think that's unrealistic because they would still need uh, some help next week from, uh, from the other games. Drive and Jones swats it away, and then Hoff catches it. And oh, she snuck in there and got an easy basket. I'm not sure what Jones was looking at after she got the swat. Hoff guarding Jones. Oh, she nutmegged Hoff, and they got a layup. Zavialova, like Jones, threw the ball right between Hoff's legs. Perfect bounce pass. Now the three-pointer from Samuelson. That's good. Well, they need somebody to step up and make a shot, and Katie Lou Samuelson does it. Finley gets it to Mes uh, rather uh, Popova, who gets it outside, and now the ball goes out of bounds as Vandersloot can't keep it in. So Copper not able to make uh, the normal impact. Uh, she would want to make so far and and we can uh, make some changes so Carly Samuelson in the game number 44 Katie Lou as well now the drive oh much better much better from Cathorla but really you know that's what she has to do she's got to take some of the some of the load you would think from a scoring standpoint for this Avenida team. Jones. Now the penetration and the dump and Popova's fouled. So she has free throws. So Andrea Bilaro Aragones whistled for the foul. You can see the competitive juices are flowing with Coach Enriquez. As Popova gets the first one to drop, whereas you look at Mendez and he's surveying all in front of him and thinking, okay, I like our position. Popova makes both. Hoff catches it. She's going to go right at Jones. No, she's going to pass it back to Katie Lou. Now Cathorla hits the baseline, drives up, puts it up and in. She's tough with the penetration, with the drives to the basket, whether it's right down the middle or in from the wings. Jones, will it be your third three? Yes, it will. Goodness me, she just does it all. <laughs> Katie Lou getting bumped by Popova and the crowd asking where the foul is. They've grown weary of those whistles going the other way, but she nevertheless able to drive and score.
Zadie Lova. She thought Jones was going to be kind of uh, moving towards the basket. So Shilova comes back into the game and Zavilova goes out. Now an opportunity for Avenidi to get that deficit back to single digits. Samuelson pulls up right at the elbow. It feels like she's definitely a threat offensively, but some of the other players not looking for their shots. You know, Bilardo Aragones can shoot it. Here's the, the drive and the basket is good by Popova. Dominguez back in the game. They share the basketball. Here she is, right on cue, and rattles out. I thought Belado Aragones was going to get her first three of the game. Vandersloot. Bentley. Quigley, nope, or rather Shilova, and now a foul called, it appears, on Belaro Aragones. Chance of Fuera, Fuera reigning in from the stands here in the Wurzburg. Telling the referees to go away as they do. So Messelman back in the game. Oh, no look pass. And over the hands of Jones. So Vandersloot with the turnover. Place has had some spectacular basketball games over the years. It's hosted a Final Four. It was famously won by uh, Spartak Moscow region back in the day. Here is uh, the missed shot and well, chased down by Bentley and now Jones and fouled by Hoff who shows her frustration by throwing the basketball onto the hardwood. From that reaction, yeah, you can under again, you can understand the frustration. There's contact, uh, but the contact is initiated by Jones, and Hoff swipes down on the ball. That's probably what got her the foul, uh, but she did look like she got a lot of ball there. Looking on, trying to maintain his concentration. Don't get too angry. Here's uh, the drive, and Dominguez can't get it to drop. One shot and out. And Vandersloot over to Shilova for three. And the lead now has ballooned to 45 28 in favor of UMMC of Katzenberg. See what Enriquez feels like his team's biggest problem is right now. He's talking to the referees. He's just, I'm guessing, saying, you know, you need to call it both ways the same way.
Gotta watch the pointing though. He doesn't want to get a technical. Although at this stage probably doesn't matter. So Katrenberg huddle up and Avenida come out of their huddle. And look to try to get something going here before the end of the first half. So trailing by 17 points. Avenida a mountain to climb and they don't want this deficit to get any bigger before halftime. who had blown the whistle in favor of Avenida. <laughs> Foul called on Bentley. in the game and gets it to go. So that reduces the arrears to 15. Bentley from deep. Oh, it's good. Well, she's just tough, isn't she? for space she's left open so tries her luck but misses everything Driving in, and oh boy, how about that? Easy one for Emma Messerman, left wide open. Biggest lead of the game now, 20 points for Katrenberg. Copper has it knocked away, gets it back. Samuelson, back of the iron. And Hoff runs into Vandersloot. So this time there was no foul called. Vandersloot, a little give and go. Now gives it back over to Jones. And once again, a call goes in favor of Avenida. So Messamon called for the foul, posting up down low. So we'll sit down for the rest of the half. Capota, though, she's been good when she's been on the floor and she comes back in. Copper, the fake, 
And the drive and miss the follow by Hoff. They swing it around outside. Copper. And takes on Jones, which usually isn't a good idea. Bentley cuts into the middle. Popova. Bentley passes up a three where she hit one before and uh, Shalova misses. Uh, but the basketball is going to remain at this end with 58.2 seconds remaining in the first half. Looked like Copper might have gotten away with a shirt tug on Popova. So the teams head over to the bench. Perhaps for one final time in this first half. Katzenberg came into this game unbeaten with 12 wins in as many games. Avenida 10 and 2. One of their losses obviously coming to Katzenberg. And uh, so if they were to win, they would move to 11 and 2. Avenida and drop to Katzenberg to 12 and 1. I mean, one thing they'd like to do is just kind of strip the veneer of invincibility that seems to be around this Katzenberg team right now. And um, not just about trying to climb in the standings because I know they're going to be in the quarterfinals. There's the chance that Prague could leapfrog Avenida into second place. Of course, Fenerbahce in Group B got that big win earlier, or rather over the weekend on... Uh, Saturday night against Chopron Basket. So they are in first place ahead of Chopron with a nine and three record. Well, here we are coming out of the timeout and probably the easiest shot of the night missed the layup. Uh, but the foul was called. Well, I say easy, but she's uh, shooting with her left hand. Although, to be fair, a player of her stature would ordinarily make that shot. So, Vandersloot goes to the line, makes both, and stretches the lead. Zavilova comes back into the game and Bentley takes a seat. Twenty two point advantage for the team from a Katzenberg, Russia. Long way from home. They don't want to have to make that journey back on the back of a defeat. And the bounce pass I think it was pretty good to Copper. And for some reason, she wasn't able to uh, corral that in. It goes out of bounds. So indeed, we do have another timeout.
Well, UMMC Katzenberg already have 52 points on the board, and we're not even at halftime. And with a 22-point lead here at Avenida in Salamanca, Spain, where they have the famous Plaza Mayor. Ever come to this part of the world, you need to go to the Plaza Mayor. Might be where Katzenberg go to celebrate after this win tonight, they stroll to a big victory. Here's Vandersloot into the paint, back outside, Zavialova. And well, she missed everything. So another chance for Avenida. I would assume they're gonna try to hold it on for the last shot. Spins and Copper, she can't get to go either. And that is how a frustrating half finishes for Perfume Marias Avenida. A couple of more looks at the basket. They don't go down. And UMNC of Katzenberg in firm control. They walk off the court. They're leading it. 52 to 30 over Avenida at halftime. Uh, third quarter action underway here in the Wurstberg and Katzenberg uh, looking to press home that big advantage that they already enjoyed. Jones, well, she runs into Hoff and loses the ball out of bounds. So Cathorla brings it up. Sharing the basketball. Samuelson puts it on the deck and misses, but there for the follow is Hoff and puts it up and in. Bird from the wing, count it. Once again, Bentley is just ice cold. Or rather ice running in her veins. Bentley dives out of bounds for the ball, even up 20, 23 points. Should be 55-32. For some reason, the points have not gone up yet. On the graphic, Hoff hands it off to Cthulhu. Puts it up, and Cthulhu drains it. She's a very high-level player. I mean, Spain.
Capola drives in and gets the layup. 61-36, and Kattenberg in complete command. It's going to take an astonishing comeback at this stage for Avenida. You know they're going to try, they're going to go for it, uh, but it won't be easy against this Kattenberg team, that's for sure. Oh, the bounce pass, and then the foul called on Cathorla. Again, I, I can uh, understand the frustration coming from that bench with Avenida. You're seeing the same pictures that I am. And I think it was inevitable that a technical was going to be called. But you're down by this much, and it just feels like you're the coach. Nothing is going your way with the whistle. So eventually, you're going to let him have it. And uh, that's what he does. And Yikes and Kattenberg go to the line and make the free throw. So they're up 62 to 36. Point shot, good. Uh, just again continues to rub salt into the wounds with uh, Ali Quigley. And now Bentley, a kind of a careless pass made to Copper. Messerman gets down low. Point shot from Samuelson. Katie Lou can't get it to drop. Three point shot. And again, the mock applause. With the ironic applause. Watch this again. And they call the foul coming over the back. So 65-36. And really, if you're Avenida, you're not even looking at the score. You're playing every possession, just trying to play hard on everyone. Got to start. Yeah, I mean, maybe you haven't gotten some whistles, but you also probably haven't played your best tonight. So... So you have to hold yourselves accountable. They haven't really shot particularly well. Bentley. Back to Messamon. Quigley left wide open. Boy, that's a recipe for disaster every time. Gets in the paint and nice little shot. Bentley again, this time no luck for her and Copper. Had a pretty quiet game tonight. He goes right at Bentley and draws the foul on Bentley. So Shalova comes back into the game, as does Leo Rodriguez, Leonard, Leonor Rodriguez for Avenida. And 
Copper makes the first. Copper's the type of player that really could pour in a lot of points in a hurry. But even if she were to do that, you're still still facing a massive deficit. It's just, it's just going horribly wrong for Avenida really for the first two and a half quarters. Or yeah, two and a half quarters. Here's Copper now taking a seat. And Carly Sam is them back in. There's Dominguez chasing the ball up high. There's Bentley. And, well, offensive foul. We're starting to get some calls now. And that was absolutely a, the right call. As you saw Bentley, she started to make her drive. She lowered her shoulder and drove it right into Dominguez. And if you're a referee, you can't win. As soon as you get the call right on one end, you're going to hear from the coach on the other end. We didn't get the benefit of that call. Um, Here's Allery, the former Princeton Tiger, goes to work, and the ball knocked away. And pulling up on the break is Quigley, and boy. And Yikes will not be mad at the referees for that. He'll be mad at his players for giving that one away. From the stripe. 12 and a half minutes remaining. Zavilova gets it across midcourt to Popova. I suppose what makes it frustrating is that the Katzenberg have not come here with a big squad tonight. Just eight players. And Avenida haven't been able to take advantage. Samuelson reaches in and drives in for the layup after the steal. A little bit better. Well, it's a 4 0 run right now for Avenida. Haven't said that much tonight. And Zavilova almost didn't get the ball across midcourt in time. There's the drive out to Messamon short. And somebody needs to grab the rebound. Rodriguez, when she was at Florida State, she had that reputation for putting up the threes. Don't see it as much in Europe. Here's Bella Allery battling away for the basketball. So good work from Allery and keeping the basketball at this end of the court. The only problem is you got Jones back out there with Popova. You got Quigley, Vandersloot, as well as Zavialova. Rodriguez pulls up mid range, chases it, kept alive, but it goes to Quigley. to Jones and she gets it and it's all over when she catches it there Pasula was guarding her and she really is automatic when she catches it down on the low block see if Pasula can get some joy there's a three point shot and Carly Samuelson can't get it to fall. So the final 30 seconds of the third quarter. It's 
Zavilova. Oh, Popova. Ooh, travels. Carly Samuelson was, uh, ooh. He's kind of flailing those elbows there. Final 10 seconds of the third quarter. Dominguez can't have any to get something. Get some joy out of this here at the end. And the hold on Zavilova. time left in the quarter oh on the inbounds play what a nice pass and a mistake by the Katzenberg defense you can't give away those inbounds passes for layups and they did Katzenberg still outscore them in the quarter 21 to 16 they lead it that's uh they're not going to overhaul this deficit in this quarter, certainly not to, to win by the, the point spread that they would need or the margin. But even so, they just want to finish this game strong as strong as possible. And defensively, they need to give a little bit more than uh, giving that shot up. We were fortunate that, that Messamon didn't knock that down. Here's Dominguez. Carly Samuelson dribbles right. Oh boy, nice little uh, shimmy to the left and lays it up. Back to a 25 point game. And a little bit of a misread as Vandersloot cut to the basket. And Jones passed to the corner. Here's Fasula, the Greece International. Outside, they whip it around to Dominguez. And she pulls up and hits another one. That's her second from that spot. Maybe a little bit closer that time, but not much. Now Fasula steals the inbounds pass. And Mendez might get a little bit ticked off here as Samuelson scores. So four points scored very quickly. And Avenida are indeed making this uh, score look a little more respectable. Zavilova to Messamon. And Messamon turns it over. Now Dominguez in the open floor. And Rodriguez fouled by Zavilova. I mean, no real foul trouble to speak of. Only Bentley with three fouls. And I think she's going to come back into the game. Uh, but after the Miguel Mendez timeout. So 8.25 remaining. Maybe I spoke too soon. As Avenida have cut the deficit. Pretty lackluster spell of play from a Katzenberg. But nevertheless, Avenida will take it. They've... Scored all eight points in this fourth quarter, and they trail now by 19. So John Cole Jones leads all scores with 22 points, uh, but she has got a lot of support. Uh, Allie Quigley, 15 points, and this is what's incredible to me is that Jones, of her game high 22 points, she's three of three from three point range, five of six at the line. She's also got seven rebounds. But then you look at Quigley with her 15 points, she hasn't missed a shot from three point range. She's four of four, uh, five of seven overall from the floor. So, also Messamon, she's got 10 points. Vandersloot has 11. Oops. 
So, excuse me, the score is 73-52. And now uh, the basket cuts it even more so. Jones over to Vandersloot. And gets it to go in. It was almost as if Avenida kind of invited her into the paint and dared her to take the layup. And this time she did make it with that left hand. Remember, she missed with the left hand earlier. Samuelson, short. Messamon from the stripe goes in and out. Jones rebounds the miss. Uh, Fasula does a great job of reading the pass and coming up with another steal. Some good minutes here from Fasula. And the clock stops. Another foul called on the Katzenberg. Zavilova. It's starting to wake up. A little bit more noise. Here's Dominguez. Oh, looked like it was going in. And a foul called on Carly Samuelson. And Bentley says, thank you. It was a very long time with Carly Samuelson reaching in before they called the foul. I think that's what the crowd's reacting to. This is uh, where Bentley often steps up and makes a big play. There's a behind the back pass to Vandersloot. And Messamon able to knock it over to Zavialova. Vandersloot. Almost turned it over. And how do you stop her? That's the question. Fasula decided to, to front her. She didn't have much space to operate, and she was still, still able to make that catch and go up with it strong. Here's Fasula. Three-point shot from Rodriguez. And back to a 20-point game. Jones gonna take on Fasula again. And the help defense comes. She's able to stay away from the help. Bentley puts it up and throws it out of bounds. At least if Avenida can cut into this deficit and start to play well, I think that they'll leave with a better taste in their mouths and also for these fans. And then they can stew over what they would have fought with some tough calls didn't go their way. Quigley back in. Makes life a little bit harder. Nice sharing of the basketball. And Fasula puts it up and in. Great work from uh, Rodriguez. She's really playing well now. Quigley and the whistle again is a little late, but the foul is called. Uh, 
And I guess they decided that Rodriguez kind of ran into her. Popova back into the game for Jones. Her middle name is Automatic as she takes it and makes it. Out of Automatic Quigley and now Dominguez with a team down 20. Midway through the final quarter, turns it over and Quigley holds it up, gets it back to Vandersloot. She gets inside. Misses the layup from the right this time. I'm not, no, not going to let her off the hook on that one. She said she was fouled. And the pass just a little difficult for Fasula to catch. Milado Aragones, perhaps uh, the last roll of the dice. She will bring you some perimeter firepower. I'd expect her to put it up. There's Bentley taking on Fasula, then passes it back to Mesamon. Now Popova goes up and misses badly. Well, Fasula could probably uh, win her battles with Popova. And then Katie Lou gets in, just kind of flails the ball up there with her left hand. Copper's going to come back in for her, I think. Might be a little tired. There's Fasula. Nice spin. Oh, she's got a nice soft touch, doesn't she? You know, scoring over Popova, don't underestimate uh, the play of Popova. I mean, she's a, a veteran. She plays for a Katzenberg. She's a Belarus international. And I remember with Vasula, when she played in the FIBA Women's Eurobasket last summer, as Katie Lou Samuelson goes out and Shanta Evans comes in, not Copper. I remember Fasula being uh, a little bit nervous about her first really big move in professional women's basketball. You know, how are things going to go? And she's getting great experience. You can see with Avenida going up against this Katzenberg team. It's, uh, it's definitely a step up from what she's used to. Here's Bentley. Wow, she's just, if you're not a Bentley fan, she's annoyingly good. But I am a fan. I think she's a, I think she's quite possibly underrated. Although the fact that she's a Katzenberg means she's rated highly by the best club. Here's Fasula again, and another two. And that's with Jones back in the game. Papa Panyadas must be uh, happy watching uh, her at this moment right now. And nobody was boxing Jones out. Avenida guilty of ball watching, standing around and watching Jones just get a very offensive, a very easy offensive rebound. Look at this. Well, we didn't see we didn't see what happened before that, but nobody nobody found Jones. You know, when Jones is in the game, you have to go find her and put your body on her and push her out of the lane. Jones does not complete the three-point play. Milado Aragones. Rodriguez. Now Evans. Thorla. Rodriguez has looked apart here lately. Evans out to Cathorla for three. Now that's a that's a good shot that you want. You just gotta make it. Two and a half minutes remaining.
And Bentley to a wide open Vandersloot and she drills it. Bentley just makes the right plays. Oh, nice bounce pass. They pass it around well here. Here's Fasula. See if she takes on. Oh, she's going to pass it back outside. A nice little dump to Fasula, who finishes it well again. Great play, Andrea Bilaro Aragones. Fasula with uh, 10 points. And the alley oop, and Jones now has an alley oop to talk about tonight. So the foul called on Quigley. You know, as good as Jones is, as good as Messamon is, I think almost Allie Quigley is just as important in this Katzenberg team, the way she plays. She just punishes opponents uh, if they take their eye off of her. So driving in and scoring yet again for Sula. In fact, that's her tenth, uh, ninth and tenth points. See if the Captain Bird can finish with a flourish here. Another three attempt. Count it. And... They've been raining threes tonight. That's Ali Quigley. Wide open. So, Katzenberg came tonight. They saw tonight, and they have conquered. And uh, the bigger battles are ahead. Uh, but they will, I think, be very happy with uh, the result tonight, especially with uh, the limited numbers of players uh, to be able to come out and grind out a win. Uh, don't, you know, the reality is, even though they showed up with eight players, they showed up with uh, eight really good players, you know, seasoned internationals, players that uh, would walk into the starting lineups of, of most teams. And there is uh, Bentley following it up again, taking it up to 93-67. She's got 10 points. Jonquil Jones has 28. There's the pass to Fasula. And, oh, she had a chance to get another basket. And she does not, but at the end of the day, it's a resounding win for a Katzenberg. 93 to 67 they win it over avenida they go to 13 and 0 they were favorites before the start of the season uh, to win this competition and nothing that we have seen from them so far this season suggests uh, they will not remain the favorites as we get to the business end of the campaign katzenberg and avenida going to huddle up Well, they had wanted more, but look at Coach Enriquez. And it'd be great to be in there, hear what he has to say. But I, you got to tip your hat to a Katzenberg. They came in, like I said, a little bit shorthanded tonight. Uh, just eight players, but, but you wouldn't have known it the way they uh, got on top early and rolled to a big win. 93 to 67.